A common mistake with promise chains is forgetting that if you don't explicitly return something in the chain, the next step in the promise chain will be executed with undefined as the value. To demonstrate, consider this code right here. All it does is use the fetch API to get some data from JSON placeholder and then returns it and logs out the title of this to-do item. So if I refresh this page, this is this console log statement right here, title of to-do. This is coming from my Chrome extension console log. If you want to download it, link in the description. But essentially, we get this data back and then we log something out. But let's see what happens if we remove or comment out this return statement. Some developers think that if you comment this out, then the chain will just end because there's nothing being returned, so it won't go to this next step. And so let's experiment by let's comment this out. And when it runs again, what we get now is an error because we're trying to access the title property of undefined because we're not returning anything from here, but the next step in the chain is still hit just where this to-do item will be undefined. And when we try and access a property of undefined, of course, that will throw an error, which is caught here. And then let me refresh this again. And we can see the error logged out here. Cannot read pro property of undefined reading title. So basically, just remember that if you don't explicitly return something in the chain, the next step in the promise chain will still be executed, but with undefined as a value. This doesn't actually break the chain. If you would want the chain to break, what you could do, or at least reach the catch statement, is you could just throw an error. So say inside here, instead of returning anything, if we just throw an error in here, and then let me refresh this. So now if we throw an error in here, we'll just go right to this catch statement and skip the rest of the chain. So the chain is broken. However, if we leave it undefined, so we don't return anything, undefined will be returned, and that can cause issues later down in the chain. That's all I wanted to show you. If you like content like this, download my Chrome extension right here called Consolog. I also have a, another one called Wit Scepter you'll find, find useful if you're a developer. Check out my courses, and thank you for liking and subscribing. See you next one. Take care.